it's a lot of reading but you have to know what what type of guy we are dealing with um, this that is New Testament God this is Jesus we're talking about and here he is saying and I think that's one thing we have lost in the church is reverence for God in the fear of the Lord we speak so idly against things and you can literally send yourself to hell from blasphemy um, the Holy Spirit and so it says like right there if you deny Jesus who spoke in the flesh but also speaks from heaven then yo <laughs> you will have no repentance um, that you will seek just like Esau he it literally says Esau wanted to repent and he rep tried to repent with tears and the Lord did not receive him and this is what the Bible says in the Gospels uh, <laughs> that there will be cast into eternal fire there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth that is done through the pain but that's also through trying to repent and so this is what i'm saying from blaspheming the holy spirit you are going to say things that you cannot repent of and that and that, is, uh, that is just one of the scariest things ever that's the fear of god it says don't Fear those who can kill the body. Fear God who can kill the body and send the soul to hell. Like this is Jesus speaking. Jesus said this. <laughs> and y'all are playing with prophecy. You're playing with prophets. I'm not saying everybody hears from God or whatever. But I'm saying to be so spiritually arrogant. To be so spiritually prideful with your own soul and with your own life. It's a 50-50 shot that you could have this right and they are a false prophet or you could have this wrong and you have just blasphemed the holy spirit and sent yourself to hell who would play why would you play with yourself like that who who is this it <laughs> do you think this is las vegas <laughs> with your soul <laughs> I just think it's so idiotic and so that is the big lesson of this video it is a strong rebuke to the church it is a strong rebuke against knowing God only intellectually and spiritually fragmenting yourself from the spirit of God the heart the mind the soul it says the love of the Lord your God with all your strength all your soul all your mind and all your heart so this is why the bible says these people in the last days will be lovers of pleasures lovers of self and haters of god but it says they will be high-minded having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof you know the bible so well in your arrogance um, you're just like the Pharisee. You're just like the Sadducee having a form of godliness It says if your righteousness does not surpass the righteousness of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees You will not see the kingdom of God. They only knew God intellectually. They only knew God in knowledge, but not intimately not relationally and we have to come together as a church can we hear from God? Can we have deep relationship with God? Can we hear from the Father? And I also want to plug um, this book. It's called Fathered by God by John Eldridge. And in his book, he talks about how fatherlessness affects the psychology of your relationship with God. If you have a very stern and strong, um, like, reprimanding father you're going to think that the lord is trying to reprimand you you're projecting your hurt and your brokenness unto god if you had a very absent god i mean father you're going to think god is very absent and detached and you projecting these doctrines of devils <laughs> these personalities unto god that's not true god is good goodness pay, uh goodness gentleness meekness uh patience self-control love joy peace faithfulness i think that's all of them might have missed one but that is the character and nature of god god is a father he has created all things why would a god create and not have relationship with his with his people with his children and what does that we we have to truly 
come to terms of how deep is that relationship. Can I ask the Lord, hey, today's Friday, and I ask you what's going to happen next Wednesday. Can I get a response? Can I get a response in his word, in the scriptures? Can I get a response uh, audibly? Can I get um, through interactions with other people? What are the terms? What are the degrees? Because what I found in 2020 is that there is a separation between the sheeps and the goats. People that believe that this stuff is still real and people who do not believe. And so this is where the Lord says the word God is a double-edged sword. He is using the foolish things. He is using these circumstances to divide the real from the authentic, the counterfeit from the legitimate and the genuine. So we, ne you need to make a decision. And this is where I'm going to end because I know this is a strong word of rebuke and correction, but I think there needs to be spiritual accountability on two fronts. On prophets, on people who get it wrong, hey, give them grace, um, <laughs> give them mercy. If they get it wrong, if they legitimately false prophets, they false prophets. Boom. Unfollow them. Don't listen to them. Whatever, whatever. But if they get it right, there needs to be accountability who for people who came against men and women of God, who did prophesy and got it right, and you were so arrogant that you manifested, manifested demonically, and you did not even know it, and you were scathing, you were, you were mocking, you were jesting, you were accusing just like your father, the devil. And so this is truth. This is the Bible. This is the God that we are dealing with. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jesus is Lord. It says every test of your spirit that confesses that Jesus is Lord, that they are of God. If you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and God raised him from the dead, you are saved. And so this is truth. I may not agree with um, Calvinist and reform and I legitimately think that they are doctrines of devils and legalistic and religious but do I believe there is some reform people that will convert to Jesus and be saved and go into heaven and the kingdom of God yes do I believe Catholics got it wrong yes but do I believe some Catholics will convert over to Jesus yes and so again I'm not rambling I'm not all over the place but if we have such binaries, if we don't give grace to both sides of the um, pendulum, where it's like, hey, some real prophets might have gotten it wrong, or some real people might have accused prophets prematurely. Both sides need grace. Both sides need mercy. But the only thing, um, also both sides need to repent. But the only thing with this, which is the most problematic thing, is that with blaspheming the Holy Spirit, you have committed a sin you cannot repent of. There is no grace for it. There is no mercy for it. And that's the craziest thing. <laughs> the only sin that can send you to hell on jump, off a rip, is talking. <laughs> is denying him that that's one of the scariest things ever so this is what i'll say hey if we got it wrong unfollow us i think that um people need to be held accountable for their prophecy and all that good stuff but if these christian influencers christian celebrities christian worship artists or whatever um said that a hey, I'm against Donald Trump or whatever. And again, I just want to add this because I just want to add it. <laughs> because I believe God, I believe his nature, I believe his patterns, and I believe his character. You had active witches trying to get Joe Biden into office and trying to make sure that Donald Trump was not in office. You may want to consider if you are on God's side because God does not agree with witches. There is nothing I do as a believing, Holy Spirit, born again, Christian, disciple and follower of Christ where witches agree with me. <laughs> so when has Jesus ever agreed with the masses? When has Jesus ever agreed with the popular majority? Never. <laughs> and so that's why I am so fervent about this this is why i'm so 
steadfast on this. And even you prophets, you men and women of God that said um, <laughs> Donald Trump was going to win and then it looked like Joe Biden won and then you reneged. Bro, that's not faith. You double-minded behinds. <laughs> Stand on your stuff. Don't be so premature. Don't be so <laughs> wavering. A double-minded man can expect nothing from God. So, yo. <sighs> Again, <laughs> I know God. I know his character. I know his personality from the Old Testament to the New Testament. He is not going to let witches win. <laughs> I know it's not the only thing. <laughs> But I'm very, I'm very adamant about this. <laughs> when will he ever let <laughs> witches and mainstream media win? It has never happened. <laughs> and so that's where you have to question everything. It's like, yo, dang, there aren't no <laughs> Donald Trump witches trying to get him in the office and buying <laughs> Joe Biden. So that's why it's hilarious. And again, this is not about presidential elections. This is about can we have a relationship with God? Can we hear from him? Are spiritual gifts still available in 2020 to new believers uh, who are baptized with the Holy Spirit with fire and of water? And uh, <laughs> God is a consuming fire because he's either going to baptize you with his fire or you're going to go to hell and that you're going to have eternal fire. And I'm just like... Why would you ever speak against the Holy Spirit? And I know these men and women of God are not, but calling a thing demonic or of the devil when it can be from God, why why would you bill it with your soul in such a manner? You're dumb. You're stupid. <laughs> You're a fool. And I'm not I'm not trying to be arrogant or prideful when I say that, but literally the book of Proverbs, the Bible calls you a fool. A fool seems as wise if he keeps his mouth. And so again, even I, I might be speaking prematurely myself. <laughs> I need to repent. But again, I'm not blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Maybe <laughs> a little questionable um exegesis, I said Jesus. <laughs> patriotism or I don't know but I'm just like man it is so dangerous when it comes to the church and the body of Christ so that's the big question for today can we hear from God can we have relationship with the Holy Spirit with the Father Son the Holy Spirit what are the bounds of hearing from God what are the bounds of supernatural gifts that's all I got for y'all study show yourself approved read your bible and um all that cool stuff and i and i'm just saying this try and test me test every spirit that if it be from god um test legitimate prophets legitimate prophets billy graham kim clement making this <laughs> declaration in 2006 2007 and then died and then donald trump was in office um jeremiah johnson uh, kevin zadai Sid Roth and God TV. Test it all. But test your musicians, your celebrities, your rappers, your influencers who are speaking against these men and women of God, where social media has only been in place maybe since 2011. But these men and women of God have a hundred year track record of being right. Marcus Rogers. Test them all. Test us. Thanks for watching. <laughs>